Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at one of the questions I've gotten a lot in the last week and that is if I were going to use the new Lightroom CC is there a way to get my presets over from Lightroom Classic CC? For those of you who haven't been paying attention lately there's now a brand new version of Lightroom and it is affectionately called Lightroom CC. That means the version you've been using and the version that's been around for over a decade is now called Lightroom Classic CC. But don't let the name fool you. Lightroom Classic CC just got a brand new update. It's faster. It's all the things that people want it from a speed standpoint. And of course, got a couple new cool features as well. Lightroom CC is the new cloud-based photo management system from Adobe. But if you're coming over from Lightroom Classic CC and you want to now move your presets over to Lightroom CC, at first I didn't really think there was a way to do it, but actually it turns out there is. Let's take a look at how to get there. All right, so what I want to do first is I want to go in and I want to um, just, as you can see, I can bring up my presets down here in the lower right hand corner. And what's cool is as I hover over the various presets that are built in, I get to see what the effect would be even before I click on it. Now you notice there's a user presets area here where there's one preset that I created in the new Lightroom CC called Sunrise. And that's just, you know, it's a nice preset I use on sunrises. However, um, there's some cool ones I have in Lightroom Classic CC, which is still my main photo management tool that I would love to have the option to use them here as well. Well, you notice if you go up to the upper right hand corner, to the menu, you get the option to create a preset, and that's great, that's how I created Sunrise. I move the sliders to what I want it, then I click Create Preset, called it Sunrise, and there it is. But there's a second option, Open the Presets Folder. When you do that, that will open the Develop Presets Folder for Lightroom CC to show you which ones you've created, and of course, to manage and put more in there. Now, when you do this, you, you might as well go ahead and quit Lightroom CC now at this point because uh, new presets won't show up until you relaunch the application anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and quit Lightroom CC. If you have Lightroom Classic CC or a previous version of Lightroom installed, there's actually an easy way to get to your presets folder. Just go up to your Lightroom menu, come down to your preferences, get to your Lightroom preferences on Mac or Windows, and there's a button right there in the Presets tab called Show Lightroom Presets Folder. When you click that, that'll take you to the top secret hidden place on your, on your operating system where the uh, presets are, and uh, you'll see there are two folders here, one for Lightroom, one for Lightroom CC. I'm gonna go into the Lightroom folder, and then I would go into the Develop presets folder. In my develop presets, I have a ton of different presets and I can go ahead and pull over the ones I want. Now the user presets, just like the user presets are in the new CC, the user presets here are the ones that I probably have been using uh, for years and years uh, that I've created over time. Now I do want to point something out. If you have some really old presets, like I see some in here way back to 2007, pretty much since the beginning of time, those presets may not function properly in the new Lightroom CC because they're based on an old develop engine. So I would say you want to work with anything, you know, if you have presets that you've had around for a while, probably the newer ones will work fine. Anything from like 2000, maybe 10 or 11 on up should be okay. Anything older than that may not work. Depends on what it does. But I'm going to take these newer ones that I have. And I'm going to go ahead and now I want, I don't want to move them over because then they would no longer be in Lightroom Classic CC. What I want to do instead is I want to hold down the option key and then drag them into this new folder. And that way they will copy. So they're still in Lightroom Classic CC and now they're also going to be in Lightroom CC. So that way they're in both places. They're in both applications. I don't have to worry about losing them if I move them over. Um, so I just made a copy. You can also, on, like on Windows and Mac, you can do a copy, go to the other folder and do a paste. That will also copy them over. All right, so now that I've, I've got them in there, I'm just going to go ahead and launch Lightroom CC again to bring it up. And once I bring it up, I can go to the presets now in this folder or this photo. And there they are. Here are my presets that I just brought over, including my TW black and white 
uh, which is the one I really wanted to see what this would look like. My landscape black and white, uh, which is also another cool one. So I can just play around with this photo and get the presets that I like, including one here from Scott Kelby. Scott Kelby gave us one a while back called Antique Look or he may have given us the settings for it, I can't remember, and I made a preset from that way back in the day, so now I've got that preset as well. So um, if there are third-party presets, and again, if they're newer, they should work just by putting them in that folder, and you can even arrange them in folders in that folder, and they should be fine. All right, so that's how to get your existing Lightroom Classic CC presets, or Lightroom 6, or previous versions of Lightroom presets, over to the new Lightroom CC. And again, if you copy them, leave them in the original place, copy them to the new place, then you'll still have them in either application, which you can of course still have either application or both applications on your computer and run them separately. You can even run them at the same time. They don't conflict with each other. All right, so with that said, hope this tip helps you. And um, yes, there is a way to get them in. There's no import, but th with a little manual work of like literally copy paste or option drag, you've got them and away you go. Thanks everyone. Take care and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.